whose side are you on? Please take a look at this. Just relax, relax. She's 10 years old. Okay. You made her cry. I'm sorry. I made her cry? Well, she hit, she hit our car. I understand that she hit your car. She's 10 years old. She did, did, did she tell you? Yes, she's okay. explaining to me right now. And I was about to turn around and come back and speak okay. to you. And then you start yelling at a 10 year old kid. Well, you were walking away and you weren't looking well, back. Well, do you so. understand that the wind was blowing and sometimes it happens? And I apologize. Is there damage to your car? I don't think so. We I'm didn't just, look I, I, check I, yet. I, I, I she's 10 years old. I'm pretty so, sure she just hit the mirror. Yeah. And, and I'm pretty sure that when you were 10, you, you probably wouldn't have been, oh, I'm sorry. You don't need to be a. I think this mom is gaslighting. Why is it so difficult for her to hold a child accountable? Well, that's my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. A guest at an Holiday Inn Express was robbed by an employee's boyfriend. You have got to see this. Make sure to watch till the end. Take a look. So how would they swipe into 103 if you gave it to 101? You can please come and get him. He's yes, throwing it everywhere. But how would they get a key to my room? I didn't give him. So he locked it. How did he get I in? No, I gave him a key to 101. So Where how can he get down? in? Can you explain how he got I in? No, no. There's I you had to. Those doors were cracked, and he hit your room before he hit 101 because it's the one right before that. One. Okay. I have no idea. I, hey, I have no idea. No problem identifying him. I, like I said, I know we've only been here once or twice and he was sitting here the whole time. Too. Yeah. So if they need my help. Thank you. I'm not even going to put you on camera. I just started recording because he tried to tell me to leave, even though she started with me first. I didn't say nothing to her first. I just wanted to make sure that's my stuff, and she told me to shut up. That's why I said something to her. I'm not trying to cause any more. This is my stuff that's being stolen. I have the right to be irate. Tamika Moores, yes. I have three IDs in there. Just making sure. The, the old one <laughs> I, I might have lost a little weight, but well, just, it, or my hair is different. I know it's the old style one. I'm just looking. I should have um, a couple credit cards in there, bank card in there. There was cash in there. That's probably about fifty dollars in cash in there. Um, my two wallets, two coach wallets are in there. There should be two of them in there. Um. What else? Some change. My iPods, my earpods in here. Uh, okay. Yeah. Why was our drawers ransacked? If this is the wrong room, his bag was open underneath the bed. We put the bag underneath the bed. How did that get on top of the bed and all of a sudden all the stuff is gone out of there? How? If that was an accident. Yes. That sucks. There's no chance my shit can get Right. <laughs> But then as soon as she comes up here, I'm like, I'm not, can you make sure my sister, she's going to say, you shut up. That's what I'm saying. This is the world we live in is so crazy because had it been me and my husband, it would be completely different. And you guys know it because I'm not that type of person. Very hard. I'm an independent contractor. I work for myself, so I get paid on the daily. So if I don't have it, I don't have it. If my clients don't show up, they don't show up. I didn't work too hard to get what I have now for somebody to just come in my room and take it.
Like for a room that I paid for. I, I felt bad as soon as I said something. I shouldn't have gotten the middle of this. And then I was like, I'm glad you, I really up. am glad you said something. It like solidified it for us. You don't know how much that means to me. It really does mean a lot. I don't want to see it happen to anybody. Did you get a look at it? Yeah. You got kind of curly hair. Yeah, I saw him go in our room. I saw him. He had a hat on. He had curly hair coming out the back. He either had on gray or, or black uh, sweats or something like as a, of that sort. Yeah, I saw him. Okay, when there was another one, there was two of them. I saw him. Mm -hmm. I was making jokes and he took her to her again because last time he took her phone and went out there. Truth be told, when I came in here and I spoke to her, I know such an abuse when I see it. She looked high when she checked me in. Period. And I didn't, I don't judge people for what they do. She at least you're in here working. I said positive th things to you and this is what you do. She clearly gave him a card to get in our room. I know she did. Yeah, you can come up here and check him in. Well, but she's still allowed to work. Had that been me, I would have been in handcuffs. I would have been on the ground in handcuffs. Okay. Yeah, we'll be right back down. Okay, thank you so much for all your help. I appreciate you. Nine six four one. Check on my kids. Sucks being She has your kids here. Trying to have a good family. Yes. Trying to get away. <laughs> it's horrible. Had this been me, I would have been arrested with handcuffs, thrown in the back of the car, but you still get the work. To do with you and you still get the work. She still get the work. She still get the work. I'm talking to talk my phone. Don't talk you're to me. You're talking to her. I'm talking to my no, phone. I can say whatever I want to. It's freedom of speech. I'm not talking to you. She still gets to work. She still gets to do whatever she want to do. I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to myself. She can't exactly. She can leave. I'm talking to my phone. She gets to still do what she wants to do. Had it been me, I'd have been locked up with handcuffs and everything. I could have been locked up with everything. But you're not the one with your. She's not the one with her stuff stolen. I am. Upstairs, right? I'm the one with my stuff stolen, but this yes. is how I get treated. I got to shut up because your son stole from us. If it was her son, then why why would you say you didn't see me? When did you clearly check me in? Did I, not say when, did I not say when she said, I love being here, that I said I do remember her saying that? But you didn't say it to me, though. I don't know. Well, if you said that, but you didn't say it to me. She did tell me that. Okay, well, then she never told it to me, so I'm still thinking that she said that she didn't see me. She said, here's what I mean, I'll be honest with you. Yes, Please be honest with me. That's all I wanted, transparency. That's it. I had her in another room, and I read her her rights, and when she, you said that, she goes, I do remember her saying that, but I do not remember checking her, and that's what she told me. Okay. Hold on, how would I remember? So, she says yes, I do. I can understand that. that. I can appreciate you saying that you see me now, but how would you feel if somebody said I they completely? I'm six foot, foot two. two. I'm hard to forget. You know what I mean? Not when everything's going on, you're not. It's but not when I'm calling the police. But, but, but at the same time, I know my truth. Go back there and sit. I don't have a satisfaction. Yeah. I'm trying to get truth from somebody stole from I'm me. The you're the not police. the victim. You're I'm not the victim. I'm the victim. But do y'all understand? I'm the victim. You're crying, but I'm the victim. I'm crying. Y'all took my stuff. I didn't take anything from you. I said 
y'all. Why would I want yours so I have two coats back sitting here? Okay, back. that's fine, but your, my coach bag was inside of yours. Because he took it. <laughs> and you knew who took it. No, I, I knew he took my bag. Okay. I knew he took any okay, other bag. Okay, are we going to do the cameras and I'm everything to make sure the, the that did. she didn't have anything to do with it? And inside. if she didn't have anything to do with it after the cameras and stuff gone, I will apologize to her. I would definitely apologize to her because I am a fair person. But I'm upset because the way I'm being treated, she came in and said something to me. I got you. I didn't say anything to her. We'll get it taken care of you. We got your stuff. I said, there. don't talk to me. She told me to shut up. I know. And, and be quiet. Don't do this. But if it was your person and somebody took your belongings, you would be upset too. Jamie, just, you don't like the way, he, way in the car. She don't even have nothing to do with this. This is my stuff. You're definitely going to fire me over your son. So you can tell him I said that. Exactly. I ain't telling nothing. I'm hoping he's coming to get him. He's everything from me. He knows everything. I told you that. Actually, he's already under arrest. Yeah, he's already under arrest. Did you account for the cash that was in there too? They took the cash. He took the cash. He took fifty dollars. I had two twenties and a ten. I had two twenties and a ten. That's the only cash that I have. He took it. The guy said that he took it because he hasn't been nowhere but back. Okay, well then he hasn't. But the guy said he was scratching, scratching tickets and stuff up here earlier and try to get. He didn't win. Apparently, he was upset. Is um, is somebody going to my house again? They already have it. Oh, they do? Yeah. They went to my house without me there? Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't even enjoy it. <laughs> I but I'm telling you, she had nothing okay. to do with it. Okay, we'll figure it out. It was all him. It's fine. And you don't hear too many mothers say that about their own kids. I got you. I understand. I know what so, Alec, I need to do. He was sick. I know. Just relax. He was I, so I, sick, I, I though. I know. Something was wrong. He was so well, sick. I know he was. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. Just relax. <laughs> oh There's a hundred more jobs out there. I don't care about the jobs now. Now I care about you need to go to the hospital. Huh? He needed to go to the hospital. Don't take care of him. But out of all of this, nobody sees why I'm upset. I understand. Nobody apologized no, to me. My kids are in there. What about me? I I'm can sorry. cry too. I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I appreciate it that. I appreciate you telling me sorry at least. As fast as I could. At least. I appreciate you saying sorry. He's six, six. No, he's six, six. I don't know. He's the one gave me some bad dough. Saying, like, he was puking everywhere. Yeah, but I think they gave him something wrong. And they gave him something that wasn't right. <laughs> because he was puking everywhere. <clears throat> like, everywhere outside. Don't cry and feel sorry for I him. Know, I, do. I know, but don't. Yeah, don't. He needs this. He needs They got your statement, together. right? <laughs> they got your statement, yeah. right? You're not on camera, but what's your name? So. Or last name. Connor. Connor, thank you, Connor. He, I, I told him, I told him okay. what room I'm in, and I'm going out here. He didn't yeah, get a statement from me, but I'm okay. I'll give it to him. All right, thank you so much, Connor. I really appreciate you. I appreciate both of you guys. She she did apologize, you know, because you know it's not right. But at the same time, I think she had something to do with it. She's crying and stuff like that. She was high when she took me in, you know. And I'm going to go home and do his room for 50 bucks. It's taking all of God for me not to fast. Yeah, I'm trying not to get myself in trouble. Yeah, Even though I know I can get out. Got yeah. the law on my side. I can get out. <laughs> okay, I'm right. But I don't need that on my okay, record for relax. nothing. She's crying, but she's okay, not the victim. Relax. I am. Right. <laughs> Please. You'll be fine. He's going to get the help you hmm? okay. He said right. what the other cop my husband is. He should be coming okay. in in a moment. Thank you. Uh, I'm checking my. Okay, honey. Just call me. I'll be right back up. I'm gonna go see if the fifty bucks is in his room. I checked his phone. Nothing there. Yeah. I know you don't. If I see it, I'll bring it right back. Yeah, but I got cash out of my purse because my son has bad allergies with his eyes. And I had to go pick up his medicine in the morning. Now I can't do that because I don't have the cash. I don't have the money. 
his eye drops are fifty dollars. So that's exactly what I went to go get it for. Like I could be a victim right now and cry too. I've been through a lot. This is this is why I came to the hotel so I can get away from the drama. I told her I'm so happy to be here, and this was the to me. I could be so much worse than what I am now. I will give you fifty dollars if I don't cry. So your son gets to mess it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I heard this is what we want. Believe me. Yeah. He needs help. I understand that. I, I could be sympathetic but to people that need get, help, I but I can't be sympathetic to stuff that, that happened to I me know. and my children and my family. We don't deserve that. I will get your. We don't bucks. deserve it. If I don't find it, I'll bring you fifty bucks. So your son can get the medicine. Okay. Mm hmm. Let me know what you would have done in the comment section if you were the victim in this situation. Finally, for this video, how would you have reacted if you were confronted by this Karen in your neighborhood? Take a look. Do you live here? Do you live here? Do you live here? Absolutely. Get your away from my car. Why? You Karen. Get, get away from my car. What's wrong? Why are you in here? Telling you, get away from me. Turn around and get your dumb in the car. If you watch this video to the end, please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. Relax, Karen. Also, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.